It's the 20th of May 2023 and Downloader has been removed from the Google Play Store. This guide's going to show you how you can get it back on your phone or tablet. If you're watching this as a short, tap on the thumbnail in the bottom right hand corner right now to see the full video. If you're already watching the full video, hold tight, more details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So all you need to do to get the downloader back is to go into Google Chrome on your Android phone and tablet. Now, if you use downloader shortcodes, then you don't even really need to reload the app. If you know what the shortcode is, then just go up to the search bar at the top of the screen or the address bar at the top of the screen, not the search bar in the middle of the screen, but the address bar right at the very top, tap in there and then just type AFTV.news forward slash and then the downloader code. So in my case, my downloader code store is 21203 and that will take you to my website. So after the forward slash, I'd type 21203. Then press the blue arrow in the bottom right hand corner. And there we go. It's now redirecting you to my downloader site just as downloader would do. You might get this, we value your privacy, just ignore it. So there you go, there's my website and it's the download section. Now, if you scroll down a little bit further there, there you go, there's downloader. You can tap on downloader and it starts downloading the downloader app. Shouldn't take too long, just be patient with it. I'm just gonna swipe down from the top of the screen and there you go, that tells you how quickly or how slowly it's downloading. Unfortunately, at the moment, I seem to have quite a slow connection, so mine's gonna take a little while. I'm gonna pause this video while it's downloading and we'll come back to it once it's downloaded. And there we are, it now says download complete. So I'm just gonna tap on that where it says download complete and it says open with package installer. I'm just gonna tap just once and it's saying now, do you want to install this application? It does not require any special access. So tap install and there you go, it's now installing and now installed. Now, if you have any trouble installing the app, you just need to go into settings on your phone and then go into apps and notifications and you wanna to go to special app access, then go down to install unknown apps, tap that and just make sure that Chrome is allowed. If it's not allowed, if it says they're not allowed, tap into it and then just tap on the little switch just to the right, allow from this source. And whilst you're in there, if you see you've got downloader in there and it says not allowed, then tap on downloader, tap on that there, the little switch beside allow from this source and that turns that on. And there you go, you've now got downloader on your phone or your tablet. Let's just try and find it. Let's go to the D section. There it is just there with a the blue dot beside it. And when you first go into it, you need to allow downloader to access photos, media and files on your device. So you need to tap allow. If you tap deny, it simply won't work and you'll have to uninstall it and reinstall it. I'm just going to tap allow and then tap on OK. And there we are. You can now use downloader once again on your phone or tablet. Now you might be thinking that I downloaded the downloader app, but how do I delete the original installation file? Because now I've installed it, I really don't need to keep hold of it. Well, all you need to do is go back into Chrome, tap on the three dots in the top right hand corner, go to download, so tap on that, and you should find downloader. Tap on the three dots just to the right of downloader, and then tap on delete. And there we go, that gets rid of it. Press the back button again once, that takes you back into Chrome. So there you go, hopefully Downloader will be back on the Play Store sometime in the very near future. But for the time being, that is a good way around it on an Android phone or tablet. I hope you like this video. If you did, why not stick around? Have a look through my YouTube channel. I've got thousands of other videos covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're gonna find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money.
I hope you liked this video and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like it, then please don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thanks for watching.